Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of a cornfield in Iowa. I had to come and see the Field of Dreams house, the 1989 movie Field of Dreams. It looks exactly the same, baseball field and all. Check this out. That is the bench, the um, the hanging. That's the hanging swing, the hanging bench there that that they sit on and they watch the game. And there's the field. You build a baseball field in the middle of nowhere, and you sit here and you stare at nothing. Not nothing. And you turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your hands off! I'm trying to help you, damn it! Should I get the car? I'm gonna call emergency. Annie, wait. So an interesting fact about this movie is when the production came in and built the field, it was actually on two different pieces of property. They wanted this property because it sat higher than most of the other farms. It was period correct with the house, and also they could have um, beautiful sunset shots and things like that. So. Um, there's some poles here. The wires actually literally go right through, probably which was the property line. They had them removed for the movie and put back in, but on one property it was the left field and the center field, and then there was the property line, and then there was the right field, the uh, you know home plate, the the, the inner in, in field, and um, then the house. So there was even some rivalry between the two houses. They both had their own souvenir shops and things like that. But eventually the property with the house purchased the land from, from the family and uh, they brought it back to the way it originally was in the movie. So as you can see, it's a very popular place. There's always people coming here. They have baseball games here. They have people come and play baseball all the time. Um, there's a, there's a souvenir shop here. There's a lot, a lot going on. This is that famous shot where the baseball players, the ghosts come out of the corn. What a great idea. So this was very cool. I'm so glad I came here. Totally worth seeing it. Next time you're in Iowa, definitely check out the Field of Dreams house. So on to the next location. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Woo. <laughs> so part of the magic of having an RV like this is you have to dump the waste tanks and usually at these little dump stations like this. I have never seen this before. This thing is completely filled with water. That is really gross. So typically how this will how this works is there's a little flap there and you open the flap and then you put the uh, hose from the RV, from the dump station down into that. So it's filled with water and whatever else. So luckily I have my gloves here and I'm going to have to dig into this thing. Oh man. That is nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna switch my gloves. So check that sign out behind me. That's definitely not something you see every day. That is incredible. Disaster strike, be prepared. At least you don't see that every day if you're from the East Coast or not from middle America like this. That's definitely one of those exciting but super scary things to see. So, I don't know, maybe I'll see one. Probably not though. So check this out behind me. So I'm in eastern Nebraska and it's, I'm going through some crazy thunderstorms. It is incredible out here. I don't know if you can hear that, but look at these clouds. I'm looking for a tornado here. At the same time, be pretty scary. Whoa, I don't know if you saw that. That lightning was incredible. This is insane. 
Nebraska has not let me down. This is so interesting out here. You hear that? Wow. <laughs> Nasty thunderstorm. This is crazy. Keeping an eye out for any funnels. I don't even know where I am. I'm trying to get to this one place. It is really, it is in the middle of nowhere. I think I made it. Ashfall fossil beds. All right, so I am in Ashfall, Nebraska. And, uh, it's an area where ash fall out from millions of years ago from volcanoes in the Rocky Mountains and Idaho and places like that. This was like a natural bowl here where there was water and so all the animals used to come here and drink and this was uh, this was an area where all the ash blew in. And so basically when, when the animals died off, they got covered in, in ash, I mean feet of ash. And now you can come and you can see these animals or see the fossilized animals. It's really interesting. So this is what it looks like. This is a volcanic ash bed. This is, they haven't done anything with this. So this is before any kind of digging. So who knows what kind of uh, skeletal remains are down there, what kind of fossils they'll find. All right, so this is inside the ash barn. Uh, I can use my regular camera now because it's not pouring rain in here. But uh, look how big this is, and this is insane. Look how thick that ash is. Amazing, that is all volcanic ash coming from two and three states away. So these fossils are believed to be from 10 to 12 million years ago. And the majority of the animals found here is this guy, the now extinct Teleosaurus, which was a kind of like a rhino type creature. So all these animals were suffocating due to the immense amount of ash in the air and they died in these watering holes or right next to the watering holes. That guy's freaky looking. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, it's definitely off the beaten path, but um, if you're in the uh, northeastern part of Nebraska anytime soon, you gotta check out the uh, Ash Falls. It's pretty cool. Going over the Missouri River, coming into beautiful South Dakota. All right, so check these things out. I don't. Even, I have no idea what they are. I thought. I thought it was real at first, but it's not. It's like a. Uh, I don't know. It's man-made though. This used to be a whole tree, and I think probably it. It fell down. But look, it's all metal work inside. I have no idea what this is. It was probably some kind of incredible roadside attraction. It has. Look, it has like skulls worked into it, horns. Weird bones. I had to show you these incredible structures. Here's another one right here. I've never seen anything like this before. This thing was huge at one point. Look at this one has actual skulls in it. Skeletons. I can't say I've seen anything like this before. They have some other incredible statues here, I'll show you. Like some big deer, like a robotic deer or something. So look, this is like, it, whatever it is, this is a mechanical look at deer. And it's actually resting on an old car. But look at this thing, it's all car parts. Springs and pulleys and whatever they could find. This is amazing looking. weird metal pieces it's, it's, it's I guess it's all car parts uh, well there's a saw right there headlights scissors so these things are amazing this is so cool I think it's cement I'm not really sure like a 
I, I don't know how they make this cement painted cement maybe i don't know but uh i'm gonna stay here tonight uh there's not really too many places to stay around here in the middle of nowhere in south dakota at least so um I'm gonna stay here, get a good night's sleep, and then get up early in the morning. I have some big plans for South Dakota, so definitely stay tuned for those vlogs. And um, make sure you guys follow me along on my journey. I'm traveling all over the country, checking out amazing, weird places like here, and I'll see you in my next adventure.